outline tool is used for detecting a specific shape or pattern based on contrast in the image. The match percentage of the target is calculated based on the shape of the master image. It then judges whether a target is okay or no good by the matching rate. Let's go through an example. I will be using this outline simulator file to walk through step-by-step -step how to set up an outline tool and to explain how this tool works. So in my example, my target is this black spade, as you can see right here. Let's start by jumping into the sensor settings. Because I already have a master image saved in this file, I can jump to step three, my tool settings. I'm going to hit add tool, select my outline tool and hit okay. You'll notice it gives me this yellow box on my image and this is just my tool window. So I can resize this and move it around the field of view uh, depending on my application. I can also change it from a rectangle to a circle, uh, just depending on my target shape. So I'm just going to expand this right here, for example. And the next option is the search range. So by default, the search range is the entire field of view, meaning it will search throughout this whole image or field of view for my outline of the spade. I can change this to partial, however, and it will give me this blue box, which is my search region. So if I know, for example, that my spade will always be within this area, I can narrow my blue box or my search range to be smaller. And this is helpful in two main scenarios. The first is to help reduce the processing time. So by narrowing down the search range, that will help um, speed up the processing time. And the second time this can be beneficial is if you have similarly shaped objects in the field of view. So if I had multiple spades, or this is commonly seen with circles, if you have multiple circles in the field of view, it can be helpful to narrow down the search range so that it grabs onto the specific outline that you want and not another shape. I'm gonna change this back to entire just for this example and the next setting is the fine tune outline so this is your sensitivity and allows you to uh, erase or specify your exact shape that you want to detect so as you can see we have a low sensitivity mid sensitivity and high sensitivity and with my shape you don't really see a difference just because i do have such great contrast between the black and the cream background but for example if I were to expand this, you can see it's picking up on the spade and it's also picking up on this OK, the outline of the OK lettering, but it is not picking up on the gray lines. If I go to mid sensitivity, it still does not pick up on them. However, if I select high sensitivity, now it is counting this line as part of my outline, as you can see by the pixels turning green. So if you do have a shape that it's not picking up by default settings, you can always consider changing to high sensitivity. The other helpful setting within here is the, the remove outline. So if I click remove outline, it actually gives me an eraser and I can erase maybe a part of the outline that I don't want to consider. When I erase them, the pixels will go from green to yellow indicating that these yellow pixels are no longer considered as part of my outline tool. If I have a large area to erase, I can increase the size just for faster setting. I'm just going to clear this because in my case, I'm going to narrow this back down to just my spade since that is what I care about, but know that that is a setting as far as fine tuning your outline. Lastly, you have your limit adjustment, and by default, your matching rate is going to be 70%. Um, so any shape or outline that matches my specific shape by 70% or more would be considered a good part. If it matches with less than 70%, that would be considered a bad part. Now, at this point, my tool is ready to uh, be finished and complete. However, there are some settings in the extended functions that I'd like to go over. First one being the rotation range. 
So by default, the rotation range is plus or minus 20 degrees, meaning that if my target were to shift by plus or minus 20 degrees, my outline tool would still be able to detect that shape. However, if this spade was completely upside down, um, because that would be greater than 20 degrees of rotation, it would not be able to find my outline and that would be a bad part. So I will leave this on 20 degrees for now, but we'll come back later in the video and change this to plus or minus 180 to allow for a full rotation of my shape. The second setting under the extended functions is the search algorithm. So you have three options, high accuracy, just mid sensitivity, which is the default, and then high speed. So if you have an outline with maybe lower contrast or it's a difficult shape to pick up, you may want to consider using the high accuracy algorithm. But on the other hand, if you are concerned about processing time, maybe you have a fast application, you might consider high speed to help reduce that processing time. So that is pretty much all of the settings within the outline tool. At this point, I'm going to hit OK and complete my program. And now, Let's jump into the operation simulation to test out our tool and see how this would operate on various targets. So as you can see, I have some saved images in this program. And as I click on the image, it will apply the tool that we just set up to this live target. So in this example, I have an upside down spade. And if you can remember, our rotation range is set to plus or minus 20 degrees. So in this case, it is not able to find this outline. And this is a no good part. As I continue to click through, you can see that the outline tool is failing on these first three parts because this only matches, in this case, 36%. But with my red spade, I actually have the same outline, even though it is a different colored spade. So this would be considered a good outline. As I continue to go through, you can see how our tool is able to successfully find the outline on our correct spade and fail on our other targets. Now let's go back into our sensor settings and I'm going to just change that rotation range. So that is in the extended functions and I'm going to change this to plus or minus 180 degrees because let's say this time I want to accept a spade in any rotation as long as it's the same shape. So I made that change. Now I'm just going to go back into operation simulation. And this time, as I click on my first couple images, this is now considered a good part because the outline does match 98% in this case. However, with my other shapes, these would still be considered bad parts because the outline does not match. So I hope this video helped explain how the outline tool works and how to set it up to have a stable program. But if you have additional questions, please reach out to our tech team at 888 Kians Option 2 for tech support. Thanks and have a great day.